when you drive for Uber, you got to have a car, right? So sometimes it makes sense to rent a car rather than drive your own vehicle or purchase a vehicle for rideshare driving or for even for food delivery. In this video, I'm going to share with you one of Uber's new um, entries into the car rental market, and that's their partnership with Avis. Avis, you know, Avis, we try harder. So this video is going to give you all the details about this program. I'll talk about whether I think it makes sense for you or not. And uh, at the end, uh, I will tell you if I were driving full time, would I uh, definitely or definitely not uh, work with Avis? Hey everybody, it is Jay Creator with The Ride Share Guy. And today we're gonna be talking about the Avis car rental program offered through Uber. <clears throat> Let's get into some background, okay? Background. So the first three years of my career, um, Uber had a different, uh, car rental or leasing program called exchange leasing. And I used exchange leasing for as long as I could for three years. I had a 2013, uh, uh, it was a Toyota Prius. It was a um, blue, blue car. And it had about 35,000 miles when I got it. And I drove full time. So I was putting on at least 300 a day, six days a week. So about 2000 miles a week. So in my situation, but being a full-time driver, rather than put all the wear and tear on my own personal vehicle and watch the value of my vehicle come down and down and down from depreciation, it just made a financial sense. Um, I did a whole spreadsheet on it uh, to, to get a car, a rental car. Um, so that's what I did. Then when I started to, to drive a little bit less, not so much full-time, then I got my own personal vehicle I kind of upgraded the quality of the car because then it made sense because I wasn't putting on the tremendous amount of miles. So whether you're a, a, a driver who's been experienced, you've been driving for a while, or you're a new driver um, and you need to you know, evaluate your vehicle, whether you're gonna do rideshare driving or Uber Eats, right? Doing food delivery. Um, the question of whether it makes sense or not is, is legit. So number one, who can rent um, through Avis, okay? So it depends on where you are in the country. As you can see here, uh, this is the list of uh, where Avis is uh, working with Uber. Atlanta, Austin, Boston, Charlotte, Chicago, Cincinnati, Cleveland, Columbus, Dallas, Denver, Houston, Indianapolis, Las Vegas, Los Angeles, Miami, Milwaukee, Minneapolis, St. Paul, Nashville, Philadelphia, Phoenix, Pittsburgh, Portland, Raleigh, Durham, Salt Lake City, San Diego, San Francisco, Seattle, St. Louis, Washington, DC, and New Jersey. So if you're in any of those markets, um, I'll show you in a, in a few minutes here how you can find the information about Avis just through your Uber app. Okay, so number two, what comes with the Avis rental? So let's look at the screenshot and you can see that you get a uh, you can drive for Uber X or Uber Eats. You get a four door, five seat car, uh, automatic transmission, runs on gas. And then there's two options. Uh, the first option is uh, a 700 miles. You're allocated 700 miles. After which you're going to be charged 15 cents per mile. Or you have the unlimited option for 214 per week. Both of those come with basic maintenance and insurance coverage, all right? So I want to make a point here. This, this car will not allow you to drive for both Uber and Lyft, okay? It's only for Uber and Uber Eats. You cannot drive it for Lyft. So number three, what are the rental requirements, all right? So as you see in this screenshot, uh, you gotta be 25 years or older, have an active credit or debit card, they are gonna do a soft credit check, okay, but that won't affect your credit score. And you gotta have a smartphone, right? For the, uh, and have the Uber uh, driver app installed. So uh, here you can see, gotta be 25 years old, gotta have a valid US driver's license, gotta have a valid credit card, prepaid cards won't be accepted for payment, and the soft credit check is required. Number four, how long can you keep the car? Okay, so gone are the days where I could keep a car for three years, right? 
What you see on the screenshot here is you can keep the car for 56 days. So we do a little math there. Seven days a week times eight, that's eight weeks. Uh, that's how you get that 56 days. What happens at the end of the 56 days? Well, you bring the car in, and in my experience, uh, you may be able to uh, just check it in. They're gonna look at it and, and let you take the same car back out, or you might make arrangements to pick up a different car. Maybe you want a different car. Uh, it, you just gotta talk to the people at your specific location and see what your options are. Bye. Number five, where do you find the Avis option on your phone? It's in the Uber app. I'm gonna jump onto my phone right now and show you exactly how to get to all the information about Avis. All right, so this is how you do it. Click on your Uber app. And then you're gonna click up in the left-hand corner. And then from there, you're gonna click on account. And then once you get to account, you're gonna click on vehicles and you see right there, it says view rental options. Okay, that's what we want. We're gonna click on view rental options. And boom, there we go. So you see at the bottom there, it says three providers near you. Click on that. And that will bring up uh, Avis if you're in uh, one of the markets that has Avis. And then from there, you can just click on uh, one of the Avises and you can see all the information. Uh, you can rent it for $150 for the week, plus they have the unlimited option for $214, right? And then right there it says sign in to book. Okay, so that's what you would click to a book. And then it also provides uh, a list of all the features that come with it. Okay, number six, will there be enough cars for you? Okay, so... Uh, Throughout the last four years, there have definitely been times where there have been options available, but when you get there, there's no cars, or you try and find cars um, on an app and they're not any, right? The demand is very, very high. So there's no guarantees. But I'll tell you one encouraging thing you can see here on this screenshot is that this whole lot in Southern California, this whole Avis lot is closed to the public. It's for Uber drivers only. So it would indicate that Uber and Avis are taking this pretty seriously and they want to make sure they have plenty of cars. Given the pandemic, there are a lot more people who have been laid off and will not be going back to their jobs. And since the barrier to entry to be a rideshare driver or a courier, you know, driving food uh, is low, uh, more people are going to start looking at, at Uber and Lyft. And Number seven. What if you're not in a city that has the Avis option? Well, the first thing I would recommend is you go to the rideshare guy and go to the vehicle marketplace. Okay, and that looks just like this. And this will give you a list of every possible option that there is uh, to get a car. One option we really like is called Hire Car. And you can find information for, uh, about that on our website. And then you can click on the link and uh, it'll take you to this page where it says rent a car to drive with Uber and Lyft and you would just click on rent a car. So we'll put uh, a link for that down below in the video also. Key takeaways. So would I use Avis if I were a full-time driver? I absolutely would. Um, with my exchange leasing program, I was paying 147 per week plus another $50 for rideshare insurance. With this program for $214 a week, um, I'm getting the car and the insurance. So the money's about the same. And given as a full-time driver, I was putting on 2,000 miles a week, um, it just makes financial sense. I don't wanna put all that kind of wear and tear on my car, my personal vehicle. So it's all covered. It gives you peace of mind. You don't have to worry about you know, personal insurance versus ride share insurance. You don't have to you know, <laughs> just get your personal insurance and then hope you don't get into an accident when you're driving somebody around, right? Which a lot of drivers do. They don't get the rideshare insurance. It's all covered. So you got peace of mind. And I find that to be really important because driving is stressful enough. Driving during a pandemic is even more stressful. The last thing you need is this real concern about the car and how much depreciation you're putting on it and what level of insurance coverage you have. So for all those reasons, if I were a full-time driver right now, I would absolutely do this. So as I wrap this up, 
if uh, Avis is not in your market, if not where you are, then by all means check out our uh, vehicle marketplace and hire a car and we'll put links for that below the video. Everybody, it's Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy saying thanks for watching. Very grateful. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. That'll allow more people to see this particular video. That's kind of how the YouTube algorithm works. And um, you go out and have a great day. If you haven't subscribed yet to our channel, subscribe and set yourself up for notifications. Um, we put out like five, six videos every single week all about this industry. Stay informed. Join our team. We love it. All right, you're going to have a great day and be safe out there. Take care of yourself.